Alrighty guys, Dippin' Diesel back. Today, like I said on last video, we're gonna be installing my lift, my rear lift on my truck. We never got this installed when I had the front installed because I had that gooseneck horse trailer, you guys know about that. But we are finally going to put this rear lift on. We are at the point where we're emailing Fabtech to see how this goes because we don't have any instructions. The guy on the phone said that these Adelies were gonna go, the last leaves to go on, right? Yeah, but that don't make no sense. Yeah, that makes no sense to have that right here on the overload because that's not going to lift the vehicle. Um, so we're trying to email them and see, try to get a diagram of how this goes on. The guy on the phone didn't know how either. So we think that these blocks are going to go right here because that's way too small to go right there. And then these leaves should go in this leaf pack. Um... It's probably going to be the last one. So we should be installing this shortly once I get an email back. Um, and yeah, Caleb is working on his 1951. Wiring mess. It's an old farm truck. So you know how when you're out on the farm, you get these old trucks. They just MacGyver everything. And we're trying to un-MacGyver it and put it back to make sense to start. Because we have a spark problem. Big spark problem. We replaced the plugs, the wires, the condenser, the ignition coil. We're waiting on the points. We're waiting on the rotor. We're waiting on a distributor cap. New battery, new grounds, new power wires, everything. Just trying to chase it down. But yeah, if you guys want to see the build videos on this old 1951 peanut truck, it's a dually, pretty sick, four speed manual. Go over to Paradox's channel. Uh, he's got three videos up so far, or two videos up. Three, you, three on it. Three, and then he's gonna be posting one tonight of hopefully this truck starting. So if you guys want to see that, go head over to his channel. Link will be in the description below. And yeah. We're going to get right into this lift as soon as we get an email back, so we'll catch up with you guys in a minute. There, you see that picture I sent? Uh, what was it for? The Dodge, the leaf pack on oh, the Dodge. Oh yeah, actually I just got a response from my uh, R&D manager right now, uh -huh. a minute ago. He said he's never seen anything like that on the truck. Oh my god, are you all serious? Mm -hmm. Yep. All these trucks are like this. Uh, that's from the R&D manager, he's been here for a long time. Y'all are at y'all are at Fabtech. Yes. All right. Okay. Uh, so how do I put y'all? Well, the leaf is the last U-shaped leaf, so it's the last one before that flat bar, the overload. Uh huh. And then the block, um, you can either put the front end on and see where it sits, or put the block stacked with the stock block. So yeah, that well, that block y'all have is it going to go? Are you looking at the picture right now? Yeah. All right. So on the, that six-inch block, or maybe five inches, are you are you thinking that y'all's two-inch block goes right above that? If yeah, typically you stack the stock stack block with our block. But what I would do first is just do the add leaf and see where the truck sits without our block, because that much block six plus two is a little a little ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we were thinking too. But this is only going to give us like a half an inch, a lift. That at least gives you an inch and a half. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Then yeah, we yeah. should be fine then. So where would you put that at a leaf then? Right, up, right above the, the, right before the block that goes to the uh, helper springs? Yeah. Or helper core? The leaf goes, no, no, not the top ones. It's the bottom one. It's the flat bar that's sitting on top of the block. Uh huh. This one and the rest okay. of the U-shaped one. So you take this one out and replace it with that, right? Or I you put it? Replace it. Put it right over. So it'd go before. If we're counting from the bottom up, the leaf from the bottom up, it'd go between one and two. Yes. Okay. Y'all got a leaf. All right. All right. We'll go ahead and but knock that out. But you're not taking out that flat bar either. You're just sticking it in between them. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. We'll go ahead and knock that out. Appreciate it. No problem. All right, bro. Well. Dude, what? How's he say that he's never seen? I've had three of these trucks. They've all been the exact same. Yeah. No. Nope. You y'all tell us. Are we did we have three trucks at Dodge just said, hey, we're <laughs> gonna throw this in there and just just. I've throw seen something. other trucks with the exact same setup as this. All, I've always seen it set up just like that. Yeah. So I don't now know. maybe the like ninety seven, ninety eight models. I've never messed with those. Maybe those were kind of different. I don't know. Yeah. So I guess we're gonna put the leaf spring in between this flat one and uh, that one. I don't know. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what it looks like and uh, hopefully 
it lifts the back end an inch and a half like he says not going to be using those these blocks uh, but yeah them back down when we got the tires on all right guys well we're just finishing up this side of the lift we got the other side on um, with it being our first time trying to or at least my first time putting on a leaf spring lift it's just the add leaf but it's my first time ever no instructions or anything called the guy from Fabtech and kind of asked him where everything went we didn't go and put the new block in here just because it wouldn't have worked with the new new bolts i don't know where the guy thought that block was supposed to go or fabtech thought that block was supposed to go but it wouldn't work with my application so we just added the leaf right in right here we're tightening everything back up and uh we should be good to go to put the tires back on here soon and we'll see what it looks like with the back end of my lift see if it even lifted it up any it's supposed to lift it up inch and a half but you think it will We'll see or doubtful. Uh, I mean, he said it will. So. Yeah. But yeah, we just got a couple more things to bolt back up and we should be uh, ready to get this thing on the ground. All righty, guys. We are ready to drop down the truck off the jack. Caleb has got it. Let me sit in here. Huh? Let me know when. You might get a better view from this side, man. Yeah, let's, we got to get a good angle trying to drop this shit down. Coming down. Yeah. You good? Damn, dude, just straight drop hey, that shit. Hey, I dropped you dropped that shit like I dropped your GoPro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I need to grease this thing up. This old girl. That looks freaking good though. No more squat. I am on an incline, a decline incline, but it looks good. Doesn't look like it has. Do you think it picked it up? It looks a lot better. Yeah, it definitely picked it up. It, it it looks right now. Yeah. It looks so much better than it did. Oh yeah, so we finally have the full 5.5 inch in the front long arm and then we have the I guess one and a half inch lift in the back. It all straightens it out. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. This is one of maybe five videos, last videos on this truck. If you guys didn't see yesterday's upload, be sure to go check it out. I'm talking about selling this truck. I want to know your guys' thoughts, so go ahead over to that video. Leave a comment below. And yeah, that's gonna be it for us today. You have anything else to say about your truck? No, it looks my truck. The yeah, 51? your truck. Yeah. Well, we tried to get it started today. We adjusted the timing. We checked the compression. Everything squared away. It still won't crank. We think it's got to be the points. The points come in tomorrow afternoon, so the 51 should fire up tomorrow around five o'clock. Yeah. So if you guys aren't subscribed to Paradox, go head over to his channel. Subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos on his channel of the old 51. Trying to get it started. We've been working out 
on the truck every single day trying to get it started and uh, I think it will start probably tomorrow. Yep. Cross our fingers. Got the lift done. That's one of many things that I need to get done. But thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm Dippin' Diesel. See you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> I flicked them off. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm not bad. laughs>